Once upon a time, in a faraway magical kingdom, there lived a beautiful unicorn princess named Stardust. Stardust had a flowing rainbow-colored mane and tail, and a shimmering white coat. She lived with her parents, the Unicorn King and Queen, in a glittering crystal palace high up in the clouds. Every day, Stardust would gallop through the skies on her magical wings, spreading joy and happiness across the kingdom. All the unicorns of the land loved their kind and gentle princess. One sunny morning, Stardust was flying over the enchanted forest when she noticed dark storm clouds gathering on the horizon. That's strange, she said. It was supposed to be sunny all day. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed across the sky, striking a tree below and setting it ablaze. Stardust gasped and flew down to investigate. As she landed gracefully next to the burning tree, an evil cackle rang out. Who's there? Stardust called out bravely. Show yourself. From the shadows of the forest emerged an evil wizard named Lord Zaxer. He wore dark purple robes covered in stars and moons, and his eyes glowed red with sinister magic. Princess Stardust, he sneered. Your kingdom will soon be mine. He raised the twisted black wand in his hand and shot another lightning bolt at Stardust. She quickly dodged the blast, her horn glowing brightly. I won't let you hurt my kingdom, she cried. Stardust fired a rainbow beam from her horn toward the evil wizard, but he deflected it with a flick of his wand. You are no match for my powers, he growled. Lord Zaxer raised his arms, summoning more dark storm clouds. The sky rumbled and crackled as lightning flashed ominously. Stardust gasped as she looked up and saw a massive, snake-like dragon emerging from the clouds. It had huge wings and razor-sharp teeth dripping with venom. The dragon doved down toward Stardust, roaring furiously. She galloped away, barely dodging the dragon's giant claws. Lord Zaxer cackled with delight at the sight of the frightened princess. Stardust raced through the enchanted forest back toward her crystal palace in the clouds, the monstrous dragon close behind. As she neared the palace, the guards gasped and quickly lowered the rainbow bridge for her. She galloped across just in time before the dragon could snap its jaws around her. Safely back in the palace, Stardust went to her mother and father. An evil wizard named Lord Zaxer has invaded our kingdom, she told them. He controls a giant dragon and wants to take over the land. The unicorn king and queen were shocked. What can we do to stop him? her mother asked. Stardust thought hard. She knew she had to come up with a plan to defeat the evil wizard and save the kingdom. After discussing it with her parents, Stardust flew off to visit the oldest and wisest creature in the kingdom, Madam Starshine, the ancient star unicorn who lived in the Cave of Wonders. Madam Starshine looked like a normal elderly unicorn, except her mane and tail shimmered with stardust. When stardust arrived, Madam Starshine was expecting her. Come in, dear princess. I know why you have come, her old, croaky voice said. Stardust entered the sparkling cave, walking past piles of glittering crystals and gems. Please, you must help. 
An evil wizard is trying to take over our kingdom with his magic and dragon. Stardust pleaded. Madame Starshine's wise purple eyes gazed into hers. To defeat this evil, you must journey to the misty mountains and drink from the ancient spring, she said. Its magical waters will give you a special power to save us all. Stardust thanked the wise old unicorn and set off on her quest to the misty mountains. After days of flying over forests and seas, she arrived at the tall, jagged peaks. Bravely, she soared up into the mountains, dodging rocky cliffs and howling winds. At last, she landed in a tranquil valley where the ancient spring flowed. As stardust followed the sparkling stream to its source, the air felt thick with powerful magic. The ancient spring glowed in the center of the valley, its waters glimmering in rainbow colors. Stardust took a deep breath and stepped into the magical pool. A rush of energy flowed into her horn as she drank the enchanted water. Suddenly, her wings tripled in size, becoming majestic and grand. Stardust knew this would give her the power she needed to confront Lord Zaxer. Stardust wasted no time flying back to her kingdom. By now, Lord Zaxer's black clouds covered the entire land. The evil wizard laughed as his dragon spread destruction everywhere. But then Stardust shot down from the sky like a blazing comet, her massive wings stirring powerful winds. Lord Zaxer growled angrily as she landed before him. Your reign of terror ends now, declared Stardust, her voice booming across the kingdom. Her horn blazed bright as she and the wizard dueled with beams of magic. The dragon lunged at Stardust, but she whirled around and blasted it with a hurricane burst from her mighty wings, sending the beast tumbling backward. Lord Zaxer screamed furiously, you have not seen the full extent of my powers. He raised his wand to the sky, conjuring a towering vortex of dark magic. The land quaked beneath the strength of the wizard's spell. Stardust beat her powerful wings, trying to blow away the vortex. But Lord Zaxer continued chanting his evil incantation, the vortex growing ever larger. Suddenly, beams of rainbow light burst forth from the sky, showering down onto the kingdom. Stardust looked up to see the unicorns of the land, their horns all glowing brightly. They were lending her their magic. With the power of all the unicorns, Stardust's horn shone brighter than ever as she fired a tremendous rainbow beam of pure light. It pierced Lord Zaxer's vortex, shattering the dark magic. Defeated, Lord Zaxer wailed in anguish before vanishing in an explosion of stardust. The storm clouds dissipated, and the monstrous dragon turned to stone and crumbled away. Stardust had saved the kingdom of the unicorns. All the unicorns in the land celebrated their brave, winged princess. Her parents, the king and queen, were so proud. There was a magnificent feast and festival held in Stardust's honor for many days and nights. Though she was now a great hero, Stardust remained kind and humble. And she continued having marvelous adventures, guarding her kingdom for many years to come. The End